and the third loop is uh, B H F G A B that is the third loop by considering this 24 volt uh, battery and 4 ohm resistance we can take the third loop as this so we can write the loop equation for this uh, third loop also that is uh, by applying this KVL we get uh, the equations like uh, uh, 4i1 plus 4i2 minus 3i3 is equal to 48 so mark it as equation number 3 on analyzing and solving the equations 1 2 and 3 we get the value of uh, i1 is equal to 4.1 ampere the question is that we have to find out the value of current which is flowing through the 4 ohm resistance so the value of current which is flowing through 4 ohm resistance is i1 and the i1 value is 4.1 ampere so that is the answer so the next question is to determine the current which is supplied by the battery in the circuit shown in figure here this is the figure it consists of lot of uh, resistances and uh, battery uh, two batteries also uh, are also present here that is uh, that is shown here and uh, here the current which is flowing through this uh, 100 ohm is taken as x and the current which is flowing through this 300 ohm is taken as z and the current which is flowing through this 500 ohm is taken as y so uh, with respect to these three currents we can find out the other currents which is flowing through the other branches of the circuit so the current which is flowing through this branch is x minus z here the current which is uh, entering at the, the point b is x and the current which is leaving from here the point b is z so the difference of these two currents is flowing in this section so x minus z is flowing through this 500 ohm and here it is uh, z is coming to this junction and also y is also coming to this junction so the sum of these two currents which is flowing through this 100 ohm resistance so uh, y plus z is flowing through this 100 ohm resistance and at point uh, D X minus Z is uh, coming to point D and Y plus Z is also coming to point D so the uh, uh, by adding these two currents we get X plus Y and X plus Y is flowing through this battery source and also this 100 ohm resistance is uh, also having the same current X plus Y so that is about the current distribution of this circuit so first of all after getting a question we have to mark the current which is flowing through the each section of the uh, circuit and here it is marked already and next we have to analyze the circuit by using the Kirchhoff's voltage law by applying the law here we are using three loops for writing the uh, equations that is first loop is a b c a so this is the first loop a b c a this is the first loop this triangle section is the first loop a b c a and the second loop is b c d b b c d b this is the second loop and third loop is a b d e a a b d e a that is a third loop a b d e a this is the third loop so these are the three loops uh, here uh, since here uh, we are considering three unknown currents and uh, we, uh, we are we should take uh, three meshes or loops for analyzing the circuit so for the first uh, loop that is a b c a uh, we already mentioned this a b c a this is the first loop and we have to write the kv uh, we have to write the e kvl equation for analyzing the first loop a b c a by applying the kvl we get uh, the equation like uh, minus 100 x minus 300 z plus 500 y is equal to 0 and from this uh, um, we get uh, x minus 5 y plus 3 z is equal to 0 
on uh, simplifying this equation we get uh, and rearranging the sign sign of the equation we get the final equation like x minus 5 y plus 3 is at equal to 0 mark it as equation number 1 and for the second loop that is bcdb uh, for bcdb we apply the kvl and we get uh, the equations like uh, minus 300 x minus 100 into y plus z plus 500 into x minus z equal to 0 mark it as equation number 2 that is on simplifying this uh, equation uh, we get uh, the final equation like 5x minus y minus 9z is equal to 0 mark it as equation number 2 and for the third loop that is a b d e a uh, we can apply the kvl here and we get uh, the equations like uh, minus 100x minus 500 into x minus z plus 100 minus 100 into x plus y is equal to 0 that is on simplifying this equation we get uh, 7x plus y minus 5 is equal to 1 mark it as equation number 3 on analyzing these three equations this is the first equation and this one is the second equation and this is the third equation on analyzing these three equations and simplifying these equations we get uh, the values of x y and z like uh, x is equal to 1.5 ampere and y is equal to 1.10 ampere and z is equal to 1 po uh, 1 by 10 ampere that is x is equal to 1 by 5 ampere y is equal to 1 by 10 ampere and z is equal to 1 by 10 ampere these are the uh, values of unknown currents which is flowing through the circuit so that is the second question thank you